What's the best mobile gaming device? It's probably this, the Steam Deck. It is an amazing little, basically, PC that is about a bit bigger than a Switch and it plays all your PC games. But, what if you wanted a bigger screen? Well, you could plug it into your TV, but how about if the TV's being used and you've got your own virtual massive screen in another brilliant mobile gaming device, the Quest 3. That's right, you can use the Steam Deck and the Quest 3 at the same time on a massive virtual screen, especially with the Quest 3's really good mixed reality, so you can actually see what's going in the living room, but also have a really big screen. So how do you do it? Unfortunately, you can't actually use the Steam VR app that you can download on the Quest 3, because it doesn't recognize the Steam Deck as a viable machine to play Steam VR, even if you don't want to play virtual reality. So that's out the window. But what you can do is get the Android version of Steam Link and sideload it onto the Quest 3 or your Quest 2. So how do you do that? Well, because Steam Link isn't available on the Meta Store, you need to sideload it onto the Quest. And to do that, you need something called SideQuest. Before we start, you'll need a PC, a USB-C cable to connect your Quest to your PC, your Steam Deck and a Quest on the same wireless network, and your phone to access the Meta app. Also, shout out to Mark Trucks, who is the Reddit user that brought this method to my attention. I was going to make this video using a different method until this much more streamlined method popped up on my phone. So let's start by heading over to dashboard.oculus.com on any browser. You can use the first link in the description below if it's easier. There, you need to set up a developer organization name. Don't worry, you don't really need to be a developer. You might also need some payment card details, but don't worry, you can trust Meta with your money, just not your information. To be clear, this process is free. It's just something that needs to be done. And when it comes to the organization name, just choose any name that's available. Once you've become a pretend developer, head over to your Meta app on your phone, make sure your Quest is turned on, open the app, click Devices, select the Quest, click on the Headset Settings, choose the Developer Mode option, and then turn on Debug Mode. That's it with the app, we don't need your phone anymore. Now you'll need to plug your Quest into the computer using the USB-C cable. Turn on your Quest and you'll see a screen asking if it's okay to turn on USB debugging. Choose yes, and if it's your computer, you might as well let it always have access so you don't have to give it permission every single time you connect it. Now, you might have some issues at this point because it might auto try to connect to Oculus Link to try and do some PC VR. If it does that, then you might want to go into the settings and disable the automatic connection, but most likely it'll pop up and you'll be able to click on it. Now on your PC, head over to sidequestvr.com forward slash setup hyphen how to, or use the second link in the description. Now at this point, we need to install the advanced installer, but you can install the easy SideQuest installer if you want to browse SideQuest in your Quest. There's lots of cool stuff in there. You might notice that Steam Link is already in there too. You'll be tempted to just install that one, but sadly, this is the one that doesn't work with the Steam Deck. We need to get the Android version of Steam Link and to sideload an Android app onto our Quest, we need the advanced installer because we're advanced people doing this. Download the advanced version of SideQuest called the advanced installer, then open the file. So now we need to visit the Steam Link link in the description of this video to download the Android version of Steam Link. Once you have that, make sure your Quest is still on and plugged in and using the SideQuest program on your computer, click the icon to the right of the Wi-Fi symbol that has the down arrow on it. Choose the Steam Link APK that you downloaded and then shoot it on over. Once it says it's done, you can go ahead and unplug your Quest and put on the headset. Locate the Steam Link app by navigating to unknown sources. Once open, you'll be able to connect your Steam Deck, make sure they're on the same wireless network, connect them up and play using the Steam Deck as a controller. Now, I had some issues where whenever I tried to connect the deck, it would almost reboot and tell me it was verifying an installation. If you have this issue, it's sometimes solved by restarting the Steam Deck, but what I found worked was putting the Steam Deck into desktop mode. It wasn't just a Quest issue either, it happened on my phone, but that was fixed too when the Steam Deck was in desktop mode. 
As you can see, the latency is fantastic. If you're stuck with a small screen in the Quest, just go to the quick settings menu and click switch distance. Then use the white line under the menu to make it larger or smaller. Doesn't that look good? I would planned to make a video about doing this using a program called Immerse, but literally a day before I was due to start making the video, the Reddit post from MRKTRX popped up about doing it using Steam Link. I'm sure you'd agree that using Steam's own program just feels like a more natural method, but if you'd like me to do a video about doing it with Immersed or other ways, then do let me know. Thanks again though to MRKTRX for the good work. So yeah, that was the Steam Deck on the Quest 3 or the Quest 2, and it's my first video that involves the Steam Deck. As I've said before, I'd like to transition the channel away from random tech, but more into mobile gaming. So obviously still the Quest, because it's a mobile games machine, but also the Steam Deck, and hopefully other mobile gaming devices. If you think that might be a good idea, let me know down below, and what would you like to see on the channel? Also, have you got a better way of playing the Steam Deck on the Quest 3? If so, let me know. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, play safe.